today I'm going to show you how to create a template. Um, so first, what is a template? So if we go actual minus minus help equals how many, how many of the feature that we're going to use in this demonstration. So um, it seems fitting that uh, uh, we put it in here. So uh, see how all this information is formatted in a particular way with colors and um, all sorts of stuff. T a template is doing that. What the data actually looks like is this. So you can see here uh, we've got the tags, we've got the provider, uh, we've got various information about it, where did it come from, the description, the name, all this type of stuff. So let's go and create a, let's go and create a template for that. Um, so we're going to call this example template dot template. Borg. Okay, so in here we want to go boink, 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 and then we want to finish it with a boink, boink, and then um, the sounds are completely necessary, of course. So the interesting thing with this is that the formatting is very slightly different um, from the variables that you would have seen in my other demonstrations so far, and that is that it is like this. Um, and so we now say, let's uh, grab the name, and let's grab the description, like so. Let's try running that. So if we now go um, template out equals, and there's going to be example template. What have I done wrong there? Oh, okay, so actually know that I didn't do something wrong, um, I just didn't add a new line. Boink. There we go, so now we have the same result set, but you see we've got no colours in there. So let's go and add some colours. Now this is really useful, if you want to uh, you can use, I'm going to do another video on how to choose the data that you want when you want to send it to another application. Uh, sometimes you want, might want a more complicated layout, like maybe you want to exit output nested XML or something like that. Um, this would be one way of going about that. Um, but uh, yeah, so here if we go uh, it's a color. I'll check. Well, we'll find out in a moment. And then we go color and we go default. Okay, so that should, if I've done it right, should make the beginning part blue. Yay! And it's very hard to read now. Um, let's just write it. We'll make that bright blue. There we go. Okay. So, what else shall we do? Let's go to the end of this. And we're going to say, if we have a look here at um, this little fella here, and we're going to paste that in and we're going to go boink and we're going to go result set and it is how many um, we found we found that many results so now if we go and run this this there we go it doesn't know what that is so if we now go in front of it we go boink how many, and now it, uh, it knows. Now, notice the behavior there. If it doesn't know the value of the variable, this is, um, this type of variable is resolved um, just, yeah, it's resolved, there's multiple points when it can be resolved, but it will get resolved. If it doesn't know it, it will come up blank. Now, this type of variable, however, 
is a result variable. So if we now go and put in something at the end here, this only gets an opportunity to get resolved once, and I wanted to keep it so that you could see if something's not being set. Um, so therefore, if we go boink, um, and we're going to make that, um, well, we'll just make it blah. We know blah is not set. And if we go over here, we are now going to see blah at the end of each of it uh, at the end of each result because it hasn't been set. Now if we then go, oh let's just make that green to make it stand out. Okay so now that should be green. Good, okay that's fine. So now let's go and put in result set equals and we're going to set blah to we Oops. Okay, so um, <laughs> I have a I have a bug to fix uh, before I send out this uh, video. Uh, but essentially, what would have happened is uh, this um, would have then been put in place there, and so uh, uh, we would have just seen we uh, in green at the end there. Okay, so I've told you about. Um, uh, what templates are, how you create one, um, store variables versus result variables. I think that about does it for this, uh, for this video. Um, any questions please ask in the comments down below and uh, I'll do my best to answer them.